What are you thinking, man? What you, what's on your mind right now? Three things. What news, mind, news, news. And you're making me look like an asshole, but I guess you're in front of all my colleagues. No, they're your peers. Uh, go, go change that comment. <laughs> what was that comment again? I said he does that all by himself. <laughs> <laughs> Support from the office. There's the high-pressure booth, that of which Wayne's going to be entering in minutes. Rip and read. <laughs> Don't embarrass me, okay? Please. Wayne, you're my idol. Good afternoon, I'm Wayne Cabot. These are some of the top stories coming up next hour on WCBS News 88. Iraq says if any of its citizens die for lack of food or medicine, it will sue the nations lined up against its occupation of Kuwait. The U.S. is calling for a vote this Thursday on a U.N. authorization of force to get Iraq out. Details next from Randy Riddle in CBS News. Officials suspect an arsonist in a five-alarm fire that gutted the Chinatown textile building this morning. WCBS reporter Ellen Mitchell will have the details. Port Authority police find 100 pounds of M80 explosives in the belly of a Pan Am jet down JFK from Miami. Sports, Giants, and Eagles. Just a moment. At a huge airbase, I think things are so congested. CBS. Rock Station. It's good to have long arms. It is. Of course, us regular mortals wouldn't know that. Crossing the Israeli border with a machine gun, killing four Israelis and wounding 25. Ha ha! WCBS News Time 105. Good afternoon. It's Sunday, the 25th day of November, which means, of course, one month to get your shopping done. 59 degrees, and we have some sunshine right now throughout the New York area. Not a bad day. In the Weather Center, John Bothy says breezy this afternoon. Some clouds moving in tonight, low in the 30s in some of the suburbs, and for tomorrow, more sunshine with a high in the low 50s. In Chinatown this morning, a huge fire of suspicious origin. Hundreds of firefighters worked for two and a half hours to control a five-alarmer at a seven-story textile building. But they couldn't save any of them. News 88's Ellen Mitchell reports. Nothing left of number 90 Walker Street in Chinatown except a red brick for five. At JFK Airport, Port Authority police made a potentially explosive discovery. 100 pounds of explosives in the belly of a Pan Am jet bound for Miami. The explosives were M80s, said to have enough power to match a quarter stick of dynamite. Four 25-pound boxes were found in the luggage area on Pan Am Flight 402 as the plane was being set for takeoff this morning. Police now have one man under arrest, his name not released. Police say that he bought the explosives in Chinatown for eventual sale in Puerto Rico. And word that a Manhattan man accosted by eight men aboard a Bronx-bound subway train early today was shot and critically wounded when one of the gang members pulled out a gun and opened up fire. The victim, whose name we don't have at this point, was riding the northbound number 6 train at about 2.35 this morning. He was approached by the gang between the Brook Avenue and Cypress Avenue stops in the South Bronx. One of the eight pulled out a gun and shot the victim. No motive is known. WCBS News Time 108. That makes it time for Traffic and Weather Together, sponsored this time by the New Jersey Lottery. And let's see if drivers are taking their chances. Here's Mary Jane Royce. We got a big jam up Wayne on Isn't the this great? New York. The News TV, NTV, in the Bronx, NTV. West Bank, Bronx, Bronx. Next report on traffic and weather together coming up at 118 right here. WCBS News 88. WCBS News Time 109. News video 88. Oh man. Great. Oh, man. oh man. This is great. This is probably what the, this is what the Howard Stern TV show looks like. You ever see it? This is on WCBS. Be ready. WCBS News Time 111. Governor Cuomo says the only thing stopping him from trying to help solve the month-old strike at the Daily News is the Daily News. Management, he says, doesn't want his help. The unions, he says, are eager to have him act as a mediator. But he says the owners of the news have told him they'll consider it at an appropriate time. Also this week, more on where to chop the New York State budget. And there is lots of chopping to be done. WCBS reporter Tim Schill. Be in session this week for New York State lawmakers. How am I doing? Be busy pouring over the How was that, buddy? Plan. You're an animal. Okay. You're an entertainer. Am I enunciating? You're enunciating and you're entertaining. Am I entertaining? Next year's shortfall is expected to be around $3 billion.
63 degrees and sunny in New York, WCBS News Time, 113. She's so graceful, so poised. Isn't this great? When you great. Yeah, like, oh, what happens, you guys? It's now what do I do? I believe she was a great. Are you going to be short this hour? But it is hard to I'll get by a song. What a song, then. And now for fans of Bill Daughtry, <laughs> WCBS News Time, 115, News 88 Sports. Bill. Well, they'd be very disappointed if I weren't here, Wayne, but I am here, so you're off the hook. What is that? As the Ricardos and her TSA. As they trim your tree. That's why I love radio, because it's so immediate. It's like happening. It's now. It's, it's, you can feel it. You can breathe. It, it has a pulse. It has a life all of its own. And it just invigorates me. It makes me. Puke. News 88. WCBS. The American Family Therapy Association is This is radio, man. Hi, David. How are you? How you doing? Hi, David. Hi, Chris. Hi, nice to meet you, man. Cameraman. <laughs> How you doing? Nice to meet you, my friend. Can I ask you something? Yes. Hi, Chris. Winnie Mandela, a real blast, according to Bill Fan. Before we leave. This is a good one. Well, our is honored for her courage in farting uh, in uh, fighting apartheid uh, in a star-studded <laughs> ceremony at Radio City Music Hall, <laughs> recognizing the achievements of eight <laughs> black women. <laughs> is that how they recognize things around here? <laughs> CBS Newsroom. What's New York? Is this the Radio City? It's Sodom and Gomorrah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for it. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's beautiful. Look, look at that. Don't spit. CBS. Where were we? Oh, my God. We were up there, weren't we? Yes, sir. 